You've met the candidates, you've heard the rallies. Think carefully what this by-election is about. It's about choosing the right person with a heart and the abilities to serve. It's about supporting a good government which will serve you and serve your family well. It's about voting for a better life. We have transformed Singaporeans' lives by working together. You look at Pongol today around you, all the buildings, the lights, the expressways, the schools, the whole environment. It's completely transformed. You close your eyes, unless you have been here and you've seen the old Pongol, you will not imagine what the old Pongol was like. Atap huts, lorongs, mud tracks, pig farms, papaya, little papaya plantations here and there, coconut trees. That was the old Pongo, the old Singapore. We changed that. Today, you've got Pongo 21 plus. Beautiful houses, beautiful waterway, happy residents living harmoniously together. And we have done this not just in Pongol, but in many places in Singapore. And what we have done, very few other countries have done. All Singaporeans have benefited from this. And I think this is the result of the good work of all of us, in fact, of the older generation who put this together. The Singaporeans working together, together with the PAP governments, successive governments, we educated the people, we brought in investments and created jobs, we built homes, schools, hospitals, CCs, all the amenities of modern Singapore. We grew a sense of pride and belonging, made people feel Singaporean together. I think we should thank the generation who did this, worked for this, and gave us this which we enjoy today. Now, now we are in a new Singapore, new situation, new world, new challenges, higher expectations. And so we have to adjust and we have to keep up with the times. But one thing has not changed. We still must work together to succeed, to tackle our problems, to improve our lives. Our party, the People's Action Party, has not changed its purpose. And what is its purpose? Action for the people. Yeah. To act on your behalf, to be your representative, to be your servants, to be your agent, to make happen in Singapore what we all would like to see happen. That's the reason people joined the PAP. That's the reason MPs, PAP MPs are field, put themselves forward to be fielded, to enter politics. And that's also the reason which made me join the PAP and join the government. I joined in 1984. It's almost 30 years ago, it was a different Singapore. Not just more rural, not just less developed, but a very different environment where we could be growing 10, 12% a year, where incomes could go up 5, 7, 8% a year, where we worked hard, we got good results, and every year we could see that life was getting better for everybody. And in 30 years from there, we've gone from third world to first, to today's Singapore. In 2004, nearly 10 years ago, I became PM. And I pledged to build an inclusive Singapore, where everybody has a place, regardless of your background, regardless of your age, your race or religion, what your abilities are, whether you're able or disabled, whatever your interests you have a place in Singapore. And we are all part of this Team Singapore. 
red and white. And that is what we have been trying to achieve and I have been trying to achieve with my team ever since. And when I choose people to be one of my team, to become an MP or to become a minister, that is what I'm looking for. Not just his ability, which I must make sure of, but also his passion and his commitment to serve and whether he has that desire to do good work, to improve lives, to work with Singaporeans, to make this a better Singapore. For the people, be a so if you look at what we have been working on in these last 10 years, in this environment, we have been focusing sex systematically, group by group, each group, what are their concerns, what we need to do. One group is the elderly. Numbers are growing, concern about the future, made a lot of contributions to Singapore, but now entering their sunset years, their golden years. We will not forget this generation because we owe them so much. And so we've had many policies over the last 10 years to help them. Health care, cost of living help with the GST vouchers, housing help with the studio apartments, we have Medifund voucher, we have Medifund Silver. We even have a scheme to help old people work and to pay a big part of the CPF paid by the government. You heard Amy Kaur talking about it just now. It's called a special employment credit, which is why so many old people are able to work. And as we grow older, as more of us enter 60s, 70s, we will expand these programs. We will plan ahead. Hospitals, nursing homes, community hospitals, wellness centers. Schemes to help people with their housing. Schemes to help people with their health care expenses. Schemes to keep people together, involved in the community, working with each other and spirits up and looking after each other. Thank you, Thank you. Another group... Another group which we are focused on is the low-income Singaporeans. The last few years have been difficult because the world economy has been highly competitive. The wages haven't gone up as much as before. And it's a problem not just in Singapore, but all over the world. The government is doing our best to help the low-income Singaporeans help themselves. We have screams to upgrade. We have all sorts of training programs to improve to, for training upgrade your productivity, help you upgrade to a better job. If you are a cleaner, to use equipment. If you are a security guard, to learn how to do supervision, to do more jobs. To upgrade you so you can earn more. We have ComCare to help people who have fallen into difficulties, themselves, their families, whether it's because of ill health, whether because they lost their job, whether because of some family misfortune. But these are flexible schemes which can help you. We have, most importantly, created jobs so that old people can work and can continue to be active and can continue to be happy because through working, you feel, I have meaning, I'm contributing. We also have paid attention to the sandwich group, the middle classes. I know that sometimes they feel squeezed because they say, well, the low income are taken care of, but I'm not so poor, but I'm also feeling some pressure. And we have helped them take care of themselves and of your families, raising your children with ch marriage and parenthood schemes, with baby incentives, with more childcare subsidies, more childcare places, so that you can have a, if you have a baby, if your kid can be put in good care while your mother is able to continue to work. We have schemes to care for the parents as well. If you have an old parent at home who is bedridden, we have home care support. And we have community health assistance scheme, CHAS, so that if you are sick, you can see your GP, and it's as if you go to the polyclinic, you pay less. One quarter million people have gone on CHAS, community health assistance scheme. You have a card. You go to your GP, he looks after you. And it works. I was talking to Lily Neo, who is herself a GP, and she says, it has changed the way my patients behave. 
So I said, oh, what happened? And Lily explained to me. She says, well, in the past, they would wait till they were, they were quite sick before they came to see me because they were hoping not to see the doctor. But with Chas, with this card, they have the confidence to come and see me once they feel unwell. I see them earlier. I can intervene earlier. I think I can treat them better. They get well faster. They avoid going to hospital. I think that is a sort of program which we need, which can help Singaporeans improve their lives. That's the sort of program which we hope will come out when you have a political debate and which we can produce if the PAP MPs think hard and put themselves to it.